So, you're running out of ideas to make your videos look interesting, which makes your retention curve look like this. This will tell the algorithm that people aren't interested, so your views will decline. But there's no need to panic yet, because today you'll learn 10 editing tricks that can help you get a lot more views. Trick number one, cut on motion. Here you can see two clips of people shaking hands. As you can see, the second one is a close-up. Now in both clips, they perform the exact same movement. And we're gonna use that to connect the two clips. Let me demonstrate. In Premiere, move the player to the first clip and find the moment right before both hands touch. Then trim the right side of the clip until you reach the play at. Then go to the second clip and find the frame where, again, both hands touch. Then remove everything that sits before the last clip. Now snap both of them together and as you can see, both shots flow into each other beautifully. Amazing, but now trick number two, using a playful track mat transition. These are simple transitions, but it will stimulate the viewer to continue watching. First, find yourself a black and white motion graphic with some shapes moving randomly. Now let's say you want to transition from this clip to the second one. Simply drag the second clip on top of the first one for as long as you want the transition to be. Then at the end of the first clip, set a cut on the second clip. This is where the transition will be complete. Now drag the second part back to the first video track. Next, go to the graphic animation and put it on top of that clip. Now we gotta make sure the transition is the same length as the clip underneath it. To do that, go to the toolbar and grab the rate stretch tool. Now you can stretch or shrink it so that it fits your video. Next, go to the effects library and find the track mat key effect. Drag it onto the second clip that lays on top of the first one. Make sure the clip is selected and go to the effects controls. In here, set the track mat to the video track that the motion graphic animation is on. For me, this will be track number three. And look at that, that looks amazing. Number three is a match cut. A match cut can be done in many different ways. In this example, we're gonna transition from a shot of a diver into another shot of someone jumping off a boat. To do that, we're gonna find a frame where the subject is in approximately the same position. On the left clip, we're gonna find a frame right before the swimmer touches the water. Then trim away everything on the right side. Now, go to the second clip and find the frame where the swimmer is in the same position but at the moment she's underwater. Then trim away everything on the left side. As you can see, the clips now transition into each other like it's nothing. Trick number four. Use music in your videos that the viewer will recognize. When you meet someone and you discover a mutual interest in music, you instantly feel more connected to that person. Now, in your videos, this works the exact same way. When you suddenly hear Rick Astley sing in the background, you feel happy and you want to continue watching. But what about copyright strikes? Those times are over, because with Licked, the sponsor of today's video, you can access a wide range of over a million mainstream tracks and over 100,000 stock tracks as well. By using recognizable music, you will make the viewer feel like they're coming home. They have a warm feeling and they want to stick around longer. This, of course, will increase your video attention, which in turn will push your content to get more views. Because of Licked's huge catalog, us content creators and filmmakers can find the special tailored piece of music that we need. You want some Nickelback in your videos? Sure. Why not? Songs from Coldplay, Lil Baby, Justin Bieber, the list goes on and on. You can use all of them while being protected from copyright strikes. And you don't need to worry about demonetization either. Using recognizable music has such a huge impact on your video retention. So if you want to start enhancing your content with mainstream music, sign up now and you'll receive an incredible discount including 14 days of free stock music. And of course, a massive 50% off your first mainstream track. So if you're curious about Licked and how it can change your content creation, redeem your discount right now by clicking the link down below. And now let's get to trick number five, using speed ramps. They can provide extremely smooth transitions, especially on your car clips. Take a look at these two videos. These are two shots that are supposed to be transitioned into each other. That's because the camera movement of both clips is going backwards. Now on the first clip, we're gonna speed it up and on the second one, we're gonna speed it down. To do that, right click the effects icon on the first clip and go to time remapping, then choose speed. Now you can see this time remap curve on the clip. Now we only want the last part to speed up. And to do that, hold down control and click on the speed graph to set a keyframe. Then grab the right side of the line and drag it up to speed up the clip. Now go back to the keyframe. You can actually drag them apart from each other to make the clip speed up gradually. Now the animation is linear, so to make it smoother, click and drag these levers. You can see it like easing your keyframes. Awesome! Now drag the second clip against the first one and again, go to the effects menu. Then enable the speed graph again like we did before. Hold control again and set another keyframe to the speed graph. Now we're gonna speed up the left side of the video so 
and just drag it up. Then again, move the keyframe apart from each other and then pull the levers to ease the keyframes in the end. There you go. And by the way, if you want to learn an extremely detailed version of this trick, click the little info icon right here somewhere. Trick number six, adding text behind yourself. Let's take a look at this clip, for example. All right, first, duplicate the video of yourself, then make sure it's selected and head over to the effect controls. Grab the play it and go to the first frame of the clip. Then find the opacity property and right here, click the pen tool to create a mask. Go to the program monitor and draw a mask around yourself. Use as many points as possible. This will make the tracking much easier later on. Once you're done, go to the wrench icon and click it. Then make sure preview is enabled. Now click the track forward button and Premiere will track the mask around yourself for the entire clip. That looks great, but if you have more movement, I recommend using the rotoscope tool in After Effects. That will work a little better. Oh, and by the way, After Effects Basics is coming soon. Now, all you need to do is drag the masked version of yourself one track up, then add a text layer in between them, and there you go. And here we are, trick number seven, a text pop-up. They will grab the viewer's attention when you're saying something important. To do that, go to the toolbar and click the text tool. Then in the program monitor, click somewhere random and type in your text. When you're done typing, hit escape and then press V on your keyboard to get the selection tool. Now, simply reposition and scale your text layer. By holding down control, you can easily snap it to the middle of your frame. Awesome, but now it's time to animate it. In the effects library, find the transform effect and drag it on the text layer. Then go to the effects controls and move the playhead to the moment where you want the text layer to be. Now set a position keyframe. Then go back to the playhead and move it back in time. Go to position again and bring the text out of the frame like this. Then grab the playhead and go to the moment a few frames before the last keyframe. Now set the position a little higher than the middle of the frame. This will create this bouncing effect. That looks great, but to make it even smoother, expand the velocity curve. Then click the second keyframe and pull the lever until it looks like this. Of course, don't forget to increase the shutter angle to 180 degrees so that we can introduce motion blur. And there you go, you've got yourself a bouncy pop animation. Let's move on to track number eight, stabilizing a shaky recording. Let's say you have this clip where the camera operator had a little shaky hands. That is no problem for Premiere. All you need to do is find the warp stabilizer in the effects library and drag it onto the shaky footage. Then Premiere will automatically start analyzing the clip and making it less shaky. Now afterwards you can always adjust the smoothness of how much you actually need on your clip. This has saved me a lot of time and believe me your viewers won't like shaky footage. It's time for trick number nine, auto reframing. This will allow you to create short form content from your long form videos. Let's say you want to have this clip on Instagram. You need it to fill up the frame of course. To do that go to the effects library and find auto reframe. Then drag it on your clip. Now in most cases that's all you need to do. Premiere automatically detects the tower and will make sure it stays in the middle. If you want you can go to the effects controls and find the effect. In here you can enable overwrite pad. Now you can see the keyframes that Premiere generated and you can also adjust it if there's a minor mistake or something. There you go. Now in trick number 10 we're gonna optimize Premiere so that you can edit your videos extremely fast and you can learn everything about that in the next video on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always stay creative.